This is the Breakfast Leadership Podcast. Boundaries or burnout, you make the choice. Here's your host, Michael Levitt. At the time of this recording, we are approaching the end of 2018. What have you accomplished this year? How's those New Year's resolutions looking? My hunch for many, you've forgotten what you said you were going to change this year. Don't be mad at yourself. Don't beat yourself up. It's not easy. I know. Uh, you know, you set out to have some goals and you don't accomplish them. And I think a big part of it is you don't know how to actually successfully, using an Eben Pagan quote, install a habit. Uh, habits take time. Um, routines change. change. Um, things get in the way. Uh, but once you do install a habit, uh, you have the opportunity to make some significant positive changes in your life, which then will positively impact those that you serve and loved ones, friends, etc. For 2019, instead of doing New Year's resolutions, write down what your ideal end of 2019 would look like. What do you want your life to look like? Whether it's you want to lose some weight, which I have this year, more on that in a future episode. If you want to be in a different type of job, if you want to have completed a project or a class or who knows, maybe improved your relationships, uh, who knows, whatever is important to you, write it down, design it. Don't call it a resolution. Just say, this is what the end of 2019 will look like for me. And if you can, you know, copy that sheet or put it somewhere where you can review it constantly and see it as a reminder. Now, to change yourself in a year, you're not going to change yourself in a day. You're not going to change yourself in a week. You may not even change yourself in a month. But in a year, that's possible because it takes little steps. I, I forget who said it. I I'll, I'll, It'll come to me. Maybe when the show notes, I'll be able to put it in there who said it. Um, but anyway, they said, if you improve yourself 1% a day, in a year, you would have improved yourself 365%. Imagine what your life would look like if you had that type of change, uh, positive change, the change that you want. Uh, people will talk about changes and everything else, but change is something that you want. There's things in your life that you're not happy about. I know that. Everyone has them, and you have the opportunity to change it. Why? Your life. I know this is a tough thing to grasp for many, but your life. You get to do what you want. Yes, there's cause and effect. Uh, if you want to relocate and move to a different part of the world or the country, there are things that you would have to address in order to make those happen. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of um, not honoring um, your your leases with your landlords or mortgage payments or things like that. Unless you run into 369 days, then, well, you kind of have no choice. But anyway, just write down what you want 2018 to look like and then start working towards it. If you need help with this, uh, just go to breakfastleadership.com. Uh, down at the front page of the website, there's a send me a message. Uh, just you know, jot down a note in there saying you'd like some guidance on designing your 2019. Be more than happy to help you. Until next time, be well. Hey, it's Michael again. Thank you for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. If you're like many people, you're dealing with some significant stress and possibly approaching burnout. I know how you feel. In 2009, my burnout led to a year of worst case scenarios. I do not want that to happen to you. If you go to breakfastleadership.com, you can register for a free webinar on burnout prevention, as well as get as a free checklist to have successful mornings. Start off each day the right way. Again, that's at breakfastleadership.com. Also, since you are a loyal podcast listener, I'm asking you to like, rate, and review my podcast on iTunes. 
I look at all the reviews and appreciate your comments, and it helps other potential listeners discover the content I have on the show. I appreciate you, and thanks again for listening.